We were working with CEOs of Fortune 500 companies and I got to see that everyone is just human. You know, there isn't anything that I can't do um, just because of where I came from or because I haven't done it before. Like, I can take a shot, maybe I'll be successful. You know, look at where these people came from. I'm Ian Crosby, I'm the CEO of Bench, and I'm 29. I mean, the problem that we really wanted to solve was uh, there just wasn't a good way to get your accounting done for your small business. Like, you had to hunt someone down, you didn't know if they were good, um, and the ways it would get done, it was a lot of work. And for someone who maybe didn't know a lot about accounting to begin with, um, or it was the first time in business, you know, some of these problems were really insurmountable. We take away the pain from entrepreneurs by just taking everything off their hands. They don't have to think about how the accounting is going to get done. You know, we just take everything and then do it for them. So, you know, really the purpose is just to, to get them back to what they want to be doing. The most important thing to do is start from an authentic place. I think that a lot of people try to start companies and the idea is sort of, you know, something they think that other people will like or other people think it should be. We're not that good at necessarily imagining what everyone else wants. And if you're not tapped into what you actually really believe, you know, you're going to make a difference on, uh, it's just going to fall short. I think the best advice I've got is not to, you know, forget your life. It's really easy to say, oh, that's something that's going to happen someday, you know, once I've made it and done all these things. And then you find, you know, the accomplishments come and, and, you know, there's just another one to shoot for. And then when's your life going to start? The way I balance a young startup and young family is, you know, just really have to plan ahead and make time for both. You can't just, you know, get too drawn into the company, which is, you know, realistically the one that is really easy to pull you in, can be really distracting, and then sort of go, oops, you know, I, oh, I forgot about my family, right? It has to be very intentional. It can be really easy to, hey, can you do this meeting at you know, 7 o'clock at this time? And just go, oh, no problem. Uh, you know, instead of saying, well, actually, no, I can't because I'm going to be at home with my family. Uh, and how would we do it on Monday? You have to choose your priorities. I think that's, that's what success is to me.